Mackenzie Johnston with Cattle News Central, bringing you your July 14th cattle industry headlines. Brought to you by AgRisk Advisors. They manage your risk, so you can manage your operation. With the weather being so darned unstable, there is no better time to look into coverage for your feed crops. The annual forage deadline is right around the corner. With their state-of-the-art technology and second-to-none customer service, you can be confident that your policy is in good hands. AgRisk Advisors, risks averted, legacies preserved. Drovers has reported in the month of June, inflation increased to 9.1%, the highest level that we have seen since November of 1981. From fuel to rent to groceries, Americans are paying more than ever. In June, fuel increased 11.2% compared to the month before. A gallon of gasoline cost over $5 in June at one time, which has never been seen before. And of course, we have areas across the country, such as California, that has been that have been paying well over $5 a gallon for gasoline for quite some time. Month over month, food prices only increased 1% in June compared to May. In the past year, grocery prices have increased 12.2%, the largest increase that we have seen since 1979. The cost of rent increased 0.8% in June compared to May, the biggest monthly gain since 1986. In the last year, rent has increased uh, 5.8%. President Biden has touted worker wage increases since he has taken office. However, those, uh, those wage increases have not been able to keep up with price increases. Real hourly wages have fallen 3.1% over the last year. The Federal Reserve is expected to deliver another large interest rate increase this month in hopes of cooling down our economy that is running red hot because inflation just continues to spiral out of control. This update is also sponsored by 4T Ag Insurance, your go-to contractor for ag insurance. Colt Tritt, he is the owner and operator of 4T Ag. He is a one-man show. He himself ranches, so he understands all the risks that go along with the livestock industry. If your operation is not already enrolled in PRF insurance, now would be a great time to reach out to 4T Ag and get enrolled. And if you want to learn a little bit more about 4T Ag and check out everything they have to offer, head on over to their website, www.4tag.net. That is the number four, tag.net. The USDA Chamber of Commerce has reported on micromanagement in our beef markets. So back in the 1930s, in response to the Great Depression, Congress enacted laws like the National, uh, the National Industrial Recovery Act and the Agricultural Adjustment Act to micromanage various markets. Looking back, it's easy to see that these bills ended up harming consumers by, uh, by fixing prices, and they also harmed producers by preventing markets from adjusting naturally. So today, we have Congress considering the Meat and Poultry Special Investigator Act, which we all know would create a special office within USDA to police competition. And we also have the Cattle Price Discovery and Transparency Act, which would give USDA significant new authority to manage cattle sales around the country. And that is according to the USDA Chamber of Commerce. So the Chamber of Commerce believes both of these bills would end up harming consumers and reducing competition. Instead of creating a new office uh, through the Meat and Poultry uh, Special Investigator Act, Congress should simply ensure that the existing law enforcement agencies have the necessary tools and resources to do their jobs. The Cattle Price Transparency Act would displace free market fundamentals with government-controlled pricing. According to the Chamber of Commerce, uh, this bill would reduce the ability of all levels of the supply chain to negotiate, negotiate freely through AMAs. Basically, they believe that the bill would replace a market structure that has evolved naturally over one, excuse me, over time with one created and managed by bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. Instead, the government should just let the markets adjust themselves and recover from the chaos of the pandemic. And finally, a few numbers to leave you with on this Thursday. According to National Beef Wire, last week, net beef export sales totaled 11,000 metric tons. That was down 35% from the week before and down 30% from the prior four-week average. And then uh, when it comes to drought, as of this week, 70.9% of the contiguous U.S. is in drought. That's up from 68.65% last week and up. Um, that's up from 57.52% last year at this time. That is all I have for you guys this morning. That is all I have for you guys this week. Pretty short and sweet.
Hope you guys are having a great week. Hope you guys are staying cool. It is darned toasty in central Nebraska this week, but you can't complain because it's great weather to get some hay put up. You guys have yourself a wonderful weekend and I will catch you next week.